My name is Alaska Miogolongi. I'm an actor. Um, actually, I feature in Nodi Wood movies. I'm a graduate um, of Olabisi and Obanjo University in the States. I started business in school, but funny enough, I'm an actor today. I'm married. And um, I think over to you now. Yeah, come in. Well, I'm basically um, acting is something I've always loved since I was young, really, and um, I think for me it's quite um, a hereditary role because of my background. My father was, or uh, he's still an actor, um, in the name of Papi Luwe, Sunday Mobilani to be precise. And um, even after studying business administration in school, I understood that I could still apply what I studied in school to what I love to do. I mean, to my career in life. Because um, I know if I come back into this world again, I'm definitely still going to be an actor because I, it's something I love to do. I've got the flair and um, I don't think I can do anything better than that. Really. Well, um, growing up for me was fun, I tell you, because um, myself and my father, while growing up, we were quite close, and I used to like move from one place to the other with him. You know, whenever he's going for shoots and stuff like that, I, I'm always around him. And um, well, I attended primary, and my primary school was tender age. I grew up um, around a good semester, really. I spent most times with my grandma because she lived there, so you know, after school, I'm mostly with her. Then afterwards, that comes out pick us back home. And really, for me, childhood was so much fun. Really, I tell you, I had so much fun growing up. Well, um, well, 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 my dream for the industry is actually seeing this Nollywood grow bigger than Hollywood, I'll tell you. And um, my father, for one, has actually tried, like, he's done so well for himself and myself in the industry, I'll tell you that. And my mom, too. And, um, you know, one of the changes I would like to make is one of the changes I've started making already. Really, by going to school, one, because I believe you, it, it, it takes more than talent. You know, some way, you need the exposure, you need, you need the formal, I would say, teachings. Really, because a whole lot of people believe, oh, actors, are most especially your actors, are illiterate. But today, I mean, a whole lot of people like me have been able to make the change. We are not illiterate. We were very much literate. You know, we went to school. We went through school and school did pass through us. Then um, another change I would like to make because um, my father is a comedian. I rather I decided to be a straight actor. You know, not the comedy, comedy, comedy thing. I, I tried to be a serious actor, you know, take other roles rather than the comedy thing. You know? And um the third change is yet to come really, whereby actors aren't just gonna be limited to just the script alone. We're, we're into entertainment. Right now I have a very wonderful brother of mine, a colleague too, Gabriel Afalayo. He's an actor, a wonderful one, and at the same time he sings. Though I I am not really, really, really into the music trade though. But I just wanna be at the background, you know, doing one or two signings and you know, record labels because I, I intend to go into full entertainment. So I wouldn't just be restricted just to movies. I mean clip lines and stuff like that. Mm. Well I got married early. <laughs> well personally I I found the right woman and I got married to her. That's just the truth. I mean she's been with me for like a um, more than like yeah, we were going three years together in marriage you now, and before we got married, we did it for like 19 years. Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, she's, she's, she's seen the good side of me, she's seen the not side of me. And this and all this, my kind of work 
And um, I, I used to be quite naughty though before I got married. And just said all these things. She still stood trusting. I don't think I could actually get a better woman. I know that. I don't even think it. I know I can't get a better woman because she understands me. And she she was being supportive and everything. And what more can I ask God for? Nothing. So I just thought like, man, I should get married fast before I lose her. <laughs> Oh uh, god, so that was just it really. I just I just found the right woman. I was fortunate enough to find the right woman. I got married. Oh yeah, change your style and change your pattern. See Well just a word or two to those people out there who's actually or who are trying to come into this industry, really. I tell you it's not easy. I tell you that's the truth. No matter where it is in life that you really have to get involved with it, you have to get yourself doing, trust me, it's not easy. If it comes easy, that means it's true. Really. And um my advice is stay focused, no matter what you do, no matter how difficult or how trying the moments are, just, just try to stay focused and just be yourself, believe in you, believe in God. I mean, it's just God that makes stars. It's, it's just God who actually would elevate you and bring you to that certain stage in life. So my advice is just stay real, be prayerful and just hold strong and stay out of drugs because it wrecks. Yami, I say if it's your affair at the end of the day, you pay a lot of money. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say Mami, I'm going to for you. I'm going to go to the moving ball. Do some of you look at me. You look at me. At me, okay, okay. Hey, I'm not feeling like you. This damn, that's a feeling, you know.